become less and less certain of commenting on Large holothurian. The fish is it goes without saying. So during this expedition, we've seen quite Go a ahead. lot of um, holothurians, uh, quite a large diversity of them. And there's one right now. Quite a lot of in purple. Um, I'm just trying to find out which species it is. It's got these very tiny papillae on its uh, dorsal, dorsal surface, as well as this very obvious um, striated fringe. Perhaps it could be Benthodites um, sanguinolenta or Typica. Um, those are pretty difficult to tell apart uh, without specimens in hand. Look at those very, very fine little filaments coming off its dorsal surface. That's wonderful video. Look at that. And usually these uh, have a polychaete, which lives alongside it and can actually shelter underneath its um, fringe or with it, you know, under the underside of the body. Uh, I don't tend to see the one here. But it, looks like it looks like it's run up against a little stalk and perhaps wondering, oh, where do I go next? Video is clear. Cap that. So Lasers there. clear. Ooh. Oh. So sea cucumbers Jet can propel. swim if pushed. Some species do swim more than others. For instance, uh, there is Pelagothuria, which is completely pelagic. And then, of course, there's a Nucniastes eximia, which we've seen quite a couple of during this expedition. And those do spend a lot of time swimming, though are not strictly pelagic. This one um, likely uses its swimming abilities as an escape mechanism. Oh um, and so will only do so when really pushed. And I guess the presence of D2 was a little bit too <laughs> close for comfort. There's a chimera.